Hello, this is Ben Ivey, and this week we're going to be looking into how do you stay motivated towards your dreams. Luke Blomfield has commented and asking how can you stay motivated when different people say things to you and how can you really stay on track? And that's what we're going to be looking into today. We're going to look into why you are looking into that dream, like is it your dream, and seven tips to stay motivated in achieving that dream. So firstly, is it your dream? That's the biggest question. Because you, you can achieve anything you want in life, but if you're achieving a dream that's not yours, that's something that I really wouldn't recommend. So why would this be the case? What have your parents told you? What have your family told you? Your friends, peers, co-workers? Are you achieving someone else's dream because they didn't achieve it? Some parents force their children to do certain things because they were never good at it. What is it that you really want to do? A great question to reveal what your dream is, is if you had all the money, if you had all the time, and you could not fail, what would you do? Thinking this could point you in the right direction, or it could complete you in a, it could take you to a completely different direction. So think about this question and think about, you know, is it really my dream? Is it really what I want to do? And if you've answered that, now I've got seven steps and seven killer tips for you to stay on track. So the first one is progress. You need to be progressing towards your goal, but measuring it. Most people set a really big target and then they just wait until they achieve it. And often because it seems so far away, we get disheartened. We think, oh, how could I ever get to that place? Or how, how can I move there? Because you don't know the little steps and wins along the way. For myself, I wouldn't be measuring, you know, the amount of money I'm making or the title that I'm giving myself with regards to progress towards my goal. Instead, I would be measuring, okay, I want to inspire a million people. Let's measure how many people attend my seminars, how many people on average watch my videos. That's a better metric because it's always increasing. It makes you feel good. You're like, oh, I'm moving forward. This is great progress. And by having those little steps, it gives you those boosts of success. Instead of you waiting till the very end to have one day of pleasure, you're having little steps along the way and enjoying the journey, but seeing you progress. For you, Luke, you could be writing down how many academic journals you've been reading. You know, what knowledge are you, are you obtaining now? Like, what are you mastering? And actually measuring these things as opposed to it being given and not thinking about it. So that's the first step. Next, we need to look into systems. What systems do you have in place to keep you level throughout your day? What do I mean by this? Do you do meditation? Do you do gratitude exercises? Do you look at your successes every single day? A small thing like that, that you do every single day to keep you level. That means that no matter what happens in life, like all these things come at you, you're still level. And you maintain that level because every single day you're conditioning yourself to be like that. Most people get affected by external things. Instead, you're going to keep that level playing field and allow you to move forward because you have the right systems in place. Number three, visualization. Visualization is really, really important. Why is that? Because our brain can't distinguish between reality and imagination. So if you think for five minutes every day and you picture yourself achieving your dream, you, you see everything, you, you listen to what you're hearing, you have all those, accessing all those modalities. So what are you feeling? Things you're saying to yourself. And you really make that image concrete. And imagine the challenges you're going to have when you achieve the dream. And imagine all of those different things. That's going to focus you, like tunnel vision. So instead of you going about your day being affected, you've got tunnel vision, you know what you want, and you're achieving it and you're moving forward. So that's something that I'd really recommend doing every single day. I do it every day. Number four, look into people. This is, you're the average of the five people you spend most time around. I say this time and time again because it's so important. If those five people you're spending time around are bankers and you want to be a farmer, you're going to be influenced by them consciously and unconsciously. So you need to track who you spend time with and, and think, 
is this person having a positive influence on me or a negative? Because you not being aware and allowing things to happen to you, of course, is going to affect you in different ways and you're never going to be really heading towards your dream because other people are bringing you down and up and down and, and you're just going with life and life's affecting you instead of you having that stability by understanding who do I spend most time around. So really think about that. Number five is books. People have achieved what you want to do. People have put decades of research into a nice little book for you to read and obtain all the knowledge and insights to use to achieve your dream. Most people just Google stuff and read an article. Articles are nowhere near the same quality as a book. A book people spend time, they focus, they really hone in on it. For my book, I spent so much more time than any other articles I've written because you spend time. It's, it's, it's something that you know is going to be there. It's physical most of the time and you're really working on it. So look more into books and they can be a mentor for you to help you move forward. And what's number six? Number six is to get an actual mentor, not just a book. There will be someone that's in the position that you want to be in. Interview them, ask them questions. If you don't ask, you don't get. So you need to go out of your way to say, you know, how did you get there? What can I do to, to push myself forward to be in your position? I really admire you. And by asking those sorts of questions, that mentor can really help you move forward in a much faster way. So you can be achieving that dream and really believing it because you can see that someone's already done it. And number seven is a coach. A coach is a great person to keep you accountable and to keep you on track as you move forward. I know for me, my coach looks into the blind spots that I have because everyone has blind spots. But they keep you accountable and they, they can help you progress towards your goal, ask you the right questions, really help you achieve your dream. They're, they're your believer, your supporter. They're someone that can really help you move forward, whether it's once a month, whether it's every week, whatever you need to help you move forward. So just think about the, the people that you know and who, who could act as your coach, who can really help you move forward. So those are my seven steps for you. So to go through them again, I mean, you should be implementing them immediately. Like I say, knowledge is potential power. So now that you've listened to this video, do something with it. So take whichever steps you think will benefit you most. So the first one is measurably looking into the progress you're making towards your goal and make it a proper metric as opposed to something random. Next, systems. Create the right systems to keep you level. Number three, visualization. Make sure that you're visualizing it every single day. Really think about it and imagine yourself there. Four, people. Look into who do you spend most time with and surround yourself with the right types of people. Write down which people you want to spend time with. Five, books. Buy the right books. Look into the right books in your industry to help you move forward. Six, mentors. Contact five people who could be your mentor and, and just ask them a good question and be interested in them. And seventh, get a coach. Really help, get someone that can help you be accountable to push you towards your goals and your dreams. So with that, I want to say thank you for listening. Please share this with someone who you want to motivate towards their dreams and, and who you believe in. Because you just watching this is just by yourself. Share it with the people around you so you can bring everyone else up with you. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to seeing you next week.